Hey guys, it's Miss Duncan. This is the first violin tutorial for Toucan Tango by Bob Phillips. It is in D minor and D major. It switches back and forth often. It is going to start in D minor for those first 11 measures. So we need to have B flat, low one on the A string, as well as F natural and C natural if it comes up. And remember we have a first ending. We repeat piano. That's what the FP means. First time we play it forte, second time we play it piano. And then we go to the second ending, it's going to move us or modulate us into D major for measure 12. Again, first time forte, second time piano. And we have a second ending that's going to bring us back to D minor for 22. That's going to involve some F naturals on the E string, so make sure you play low one. At 32, we have the harmony. Uh, we're pizzicato, first time forte, second time piano. Remember that plus sign at the top of 37, or at the last note of 37 actually, is left hand pizzicato, so you're going to pluck open E with your pinky so that your bow hand can be getting ready to bow that first ending and then later on the second ending. Okay, so I'm going to play all the way through it and then point out anything else I thought tripped me up. Here we go, two can tango. One, two, three, four. I played through was our finger pattern actually over at 34 in one of the D major sections. You need to remember that it's a low two for G natural, but then by the end of the measure it's a high two for F sharp. So watch that it happens again at 36. Okay, practice it with a metronome. Pay attention to your finger patterns. They change truly every eight to ten measures. And good luck. <laughs> 